what's going on everybody i'm back again with another vlog and today i'm going to be exploring the neighborhood of mob haven mob haven is one of the first neighborhoods in the bronx that was incorporated like a historic district in 1969 so there are some streets that are pretty historic with beautiful brownstones and stuff and the neighborhood doesn't get really like a good reputation in new york but i know a lot of things are changing so i'm here to explore it and see what the neighborhood has to offer so join me so i'm starting my walk over here to my right hand you see the housing project but then you see like a brand new building building over here and it's good there's a lot of development going on in this neighborhood then over this way i see some condos so i'm gonna try to see if i can get closer to take a look so this street is 138 one of the busiest streets in mount haven you can see how they got this new development going on over here and there's another one over here pretty nice so i'm walking over here and one thing about mount haven especially in this area there's like a lot of warehouses or a lot of uh, you know pretty much empty buildings of business but i'm gonna see if i cross under the bridge because over there you're gonna see some buildings but it gives you a feel like if you're in manhattan i'm gonna show you right ahead of me this is 137 and Ryder street and there you see the tall development going on so it tries to tell you how they're changing the neighborhood and then you got the original like the housing projects but yeah let me see if there's a way i can just sneak by or take a look to see what's happening over there so this over here is third avenue which it goes all the way to the hub and all the way up in the bronx and you can see how developments are going on over here so i think i'm gonna walk over that way then make my ride to brooklyn avenue because i think that's like a little main street around the area and then they got two streets are pretty much like the historic district in the bronx one of them is the mod haven east historic district so i'm gonna walk there and check out the architecture but first, before I go to my destination, I made a little detour over here. Nothing special, it's a highway, but then you can see all this tall buildings that are developing over here. It tells you how the neighbor is gonna start changing. They're already leasing out the building and stuff. And that's if it's gonna have like some stores and stuff. And it keeps going all the way back there. But yeah, you can see the, how the neighborhood changes. And I gotta say over here, it feels like pretty humid. So we're surrounded by a lot of highways that goes over here. So you can tell, like this neighborhood is pretty busy with the connections of the highways, uh, the subway trains, even the Metro North passes over there. I'm not sure if they have a stop here in Mount Haven. But yeah, but let's keep walking deeper into the neighborhood and see what can we find. So here you can see all the developments going on. Work and progress. They're gonna build like this skyscraper and then you see new buildings <coughs> popping up. Then behind this bridge, there's more buildings. But this over here is another avenue. We got some cool street art, so I'm gonna check it out. Here I am walking Brooklyn Avenue, beautiful building over here. I think this part here is like the most developed part in Mott Haven. Then there's some new apartments of the building over this side. Not too bad, there. Typical thing you're gonna see in uptown, four track. Yeah, usually if you hang out in the Bronx, a lot of people they go into four tracks. <laughs> Rider. You gotta call them like riders and all that. Looks like they're also renovating this building. So you can see a lot of changes are happening here. And then this is like a nice building over here. A new building apartment. I'm not sure how much this is rent. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. So far, loving the area. So now I'm gonna walk to Williams Avenue to check out two specific streets. Like I said, the East uh, Historic District and the Burton Block Historic District and 136 between Williams Avenue and Brook Ave. So there's some beautiful streets over there where nice architecture and probably one of the original buildings around here. So let's see what's happening. Then I made a little detour over here. Beautiful street of Puerto Rican woman with a flag. There's one thing I like about Uptown, like this the murals, the street art. And then across from me is a nice street here. This is Alexander Street. You got a steakhouse, deli. So yeah, I can see how the neighborhood little by little is changing. Sometimes you just, you just can't go with the media. You know, you just got to use common sense and know where you're going. But yeah, so far I'm loving it here. And I love the fact how under the bridges you cross and they also got like street art. They try to keep it, you know, nice. Nice urban, you know, it really represents the Bronx. Even across the street, they got beautiful street art. A meal that's a subway train and the fire hydrant. When it's like 100 degrees here, they used to turn it on. 
and you know people just living it simple enjoying life but you can see the diversity so this is really cool so i made it a 136 13 block and then you can see the architecture over here really beautiful structures of building yeah it's pretty different from the ones i see in the brooklyn because this one like a little bit light color you can see all the details in the buildings so i can understand what they're talking about you know it's beautiful and over here too you know they got a different design of the building so i think it's nice so i'm walking here they got a park too where kids can play but i don't see much people but i gotta say it's a little bit hot today the humidity but yeah pretty small street i still got two more blocks to explore around to see what's happening but so far you know it's pretty pretty local over here and here's like another local park you're gonna see a lot of this all over new york city you see a puerto rican flag so yeah i think it's beautiful and here you got a really cool building with the street art yeah i really love buildings like this that have street art you know on the side and you can see pretty tiny streets around here mott haven there's another one over there another street art so maybe i'll do one more block in brook Ave, then make my left to a couple of more blocks and this over here is 138th street one of the main streets a lot of nice restaurants like latin restaurants it smells good too so yeah i see a couple of people but not too busy so then you see like a lot of delis so this one i can see it keeps like the traditional local vibe over here like it hasn't developed that much let me see if i can cross the street over here we got some beautiful art architecture beautiful buildings right here it's pretty nice a couple of groceries around here i know there's some restaurants and some shops and i see a puerto rican flag too there's a lot of puerto ricans in this neighborhood so I wanted to film more of the area that I just passed but they're playing salsa over there and I didn't want to get a copyright but so far pretty cool neighborhood and just you know people just hanging out chilling doing their own thing there's something pretty interesting that I want to show you as most of us were surrounded by the housing projects in the middle of nowhere we got this beautiful church over here I never seen anything like this like a church you know surrounded by the tall buildings it's a police precinct but I gotta say the buildings are beautiful and actually now I remember I saw this street in Peter Santalillo's yeah, Peter's vlog yeah in Peter's vlog when he made the vlog about the South Bronx I saw that he ended up in the street and I didn't have no idea where it was so now I see it pretty beautiful this is actually Alexander Street which I was walking a little over that way where they got all the stores all the restaurants then over here you can see it's residential it kind of reminds me a little bit of crown heights in brooklyn yeah i love the architecture here beautiful so like i say the bronx has a lot of hidden gems you gotta explore you know you can even tell the neighbors nice the way how they have the signs of the street when they got like that brown color you already know that it's a lot of history happening over here this is actually 140 but i think i'm gonna walk a little far to see what can i find but yeah this is what i'm talking about moth haven historic district so yeah so like the beginning of the street with the church and then it just goes all the way down with the beautiful brown stones and i like the fact how it's pretty open the street pretty wide so this street is one of my main reasons why i came to moth haven to check out uh, moth haven East Historic District and you can see how beautiful it is, the architecture, the buildings. Does it feel like you're in Brooklyn or somewhere else? All this brownstone buildings here, you know. Who would have thought this neighborhood passed this, right? It's good always to explore a different area. So far it's a different vibe, nice street, pretty quiet. I like how wide it is, the sidewalks. It's crazy how you end up in the middle of a street like that. That's one thing I like about New York City, the contrast of different sections in the neighborhood and this is 139th street and pretty nice houses they have over here some of them got their entrance and i guess they can barbecue or just chill in the front yeah it's own entrance right here 
then like I say this is a lot of Puerto Rican flags over here so yeah I think this neighborhood has yeah some of the most Puerto Ricans in the Bronx with the flags and everything so yeah so far I'm loving the neighborhood then you got another street with the beautiful brownstone buildings and funny thing I passed an ice cream truck and it was like a mad long line so I don't know maybe it's the best ice cream truck in the whole New York City because I've never seen such a long line for an ice cream truck but also it's pretty hot so I don't blame them I walk through the street and you can see like the regular apartments but then you see a new building here a new one over there and a new one over there so the neighborhood little by little is changing so I think I'm gonna walk to a local park called St. Mar Mary's Park to see what's going on so let's see what happens pretty nicely well done buildings kind of gives me like a Bushwick Brooklyn vibe yeah I like this one too I know it's new but the design is pretty good so this is it St. Mary's Park not much happening around here but I'm gonna walk forward to see what can I find so one of the sides in the park they're developing it but then you end up here and it looks like you're in another town with a house like this it's pretty beautiful let me see if there's a way I can get in the park but I know it doesn't seem like it so I try to get in but it got like a huge fence as you can see right here see the fence is covering the whole park so I'm not sure they're renovating the whole park but it's sad because it looks like it's a nice underrated park with all the stones and that you know pretty much like the parts you get in Manhattan so far lovely residential area and yeah I like it over here Sam Mary Street with the houses so you get a little bit of everything here in Mott Haven so I sat down for a little bit to take a little break and this side of the park is actually opening I know because the benches are brand new you can tell new benches then the way I did this on the sidewalk and then I like how you walk around here and all the trees it kind of looks a little bit like Central Park and I don't know looking at it it doesn't even look like you're in the Bronx it looks like you're in a suburb or something like that because the way all their houses are designed so I know when they open the entire park it's going to be pretty nice and I believe in the summertime it's going to be like really packed here a lot of family hanging out so I'm going to chill here for a little bit you know and enjoy the beautiful evening that was the end of my video exploring Mott Haven and the Bronx so I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more be safe out there everybody God bless y'all and peace